So you know how it is when you're a Blade Runner. Sometimes you gotta retire a replicant. It's pretty hard on you. So, what's a guy gonna do to deaden some of that pain? Well, apparently, this. You're gonna order some Tsing Tao? Tsing Tao. Tsing Tao. Tsing Tao. Tsing Tao. Tsing Tao. Tsing Tao. Yeah, uh, apparently Tsing Tao. Alright. That's an odd choice. Well, okay, um, much like the lady at the cantina, I happen to have a bottle of Tsing Tao right here, so uh, let's taste it and see what it's like. So now that I've got my bottle of Tsing Tao standing by, it's time to put it into the old uh, chibi glass and have a drink. Um, Tsing Tao is kind of an unusual story. Uh, I, From what I gather... Harrison Ford had mentioned to Ridley Scott that he had heard of this brand, and it was very unknown at the time. And so that's why when uh, he goes up to order something from the cantina lady, uh, that is what he ends up getting, is Sing Tao, which they thought was kind of a neat liqueur or something, or some kind of weird vodka. Turns out, no, uh, it's a real thing, and it's actually Chinese beer. So, I'm not sure why uh, Deckard would order Chinese beer any more than why the lady would sell it to him in a bottle shaped like this. But, regardless, let's actually try it out. Since I tried the Johnny Walker a while ago, I figure, yeah, let's, let's try some more Blade Runner booze. Um, here's what the real genuine McCoy looks like. It's, uh, it's a beer that comes in a bottle like this. I've poured it into this uh, Tsing Tao bottle. Um, but... Uh, from what I gather, at the time, this was a sort of obscure brand that people had heard of enough for Harrison Ford to recommend it for the film shot. Or maybe it was Ridley Scott, but according to rumors online, it was Harrison Ford's idea. Uh, since the making of the film, this brand has gone on to become very well known, so it was easy to get locally in the liquor store. So, let's see what real genuine Sing Tao tastes like in a real genuine Blade Runner glass out of a real genuine Blade Runner bottle. Yeah, it's gonna be unusual drinking something beer-like out of this big glass. Although, you know, to be honest, it's not far off a, uh, a beer stein in a way. Anyway, bottoms up, let's see what genuine Sing Tao tastes like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, very light, very um, fruity, actually. A little bit like Corona. Yeah, it's got a bit of a Corona vibe to it. Um, but with a little more of an apple type of a flavor. It's, it's sweet in a... I, I think this would make for a very nice drink to have on a hot day, maybe. It's missing a little bit of the, um, what would I call it? Whereas Corona has a more round flavor to it, and that's an odd word to use, but this is missing some of that roundness. It's a little bit flat on the, um, on the end of the experience. There's another Mexican beer, and it's a weird, it's a weird correlation. Like, China and Mexico are pretty far from each other, and yet they make very similar beer, apparently. But there is another Mexican beer that I've had called Soul. It's also readily available anywhere I can get Corona. And this has this has that kind of a vibe to it. Let's just do one more quote unquote shot of Sing Tao. I mean, Deckard was drinking it out of a shot glass in the movie. I'm not drinking beer out of a shot glass. It's bad enough I'm drinking it out of a whiskey glass. Cheers. 
and it's quite pleasant. I'm used to more sort of um, wheat beers, Hefeweizen, and that kind of stuff. And this isn't that. This is more, this doesn't have the thickness of that kind of a beer, nor any of the stouts or pale ales or any of that stuff. This is quite a, a thin beer, very analogous to uh, what's going on with, say, Corona, Sol, Mexican type um, boo, uh, beers. However, quite quite tasty. Yeah, I uh, I think these guys have done a good job, and clearly that is uh, that speaks to their success. So, cheers to Blade Runner and the success of Ting Tao, and now I've had it out of a real bottle. All right, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.